In a world where there's only one podcast, it's time for Lucky Time Explosure! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Hold on. Hold on. I love this. Hold on. I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I realized I wasn't, I wasn't, um, yeah. Okay, here we go. There you go. Happy gotcha. Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're here with Akeem Duncan of Quiet Lunch gun, today. Gun, we got gun, a very gun, special gun, guest. Gun, gun, gun. <laughs> <laughs> Akeem, you, you just had a show here, right? It was your first time uh, uh, yeah, organizing yeah. something? Yeah, it's the first time um, I'm collaborating with you guys. It's going to be a part of many more collaborations. I really like what you guys have going on here. Thank you. And I you hope guys, so. You guys got a prime real estate over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, got some Glen Gary Ross over here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nothing without the people that we yeah, work nothing with. Nothing without you know? the people. Uh, we did um, we did uh, the four women show for, That's right. for Women's History Month. It featured Rebecca Brosnan, uh, Marguerite Wibbo, um, who else? We had Destiny Mata. And we had Kelly Lucas. And yeah. then we have a part two coming up, don't we? That's Brandon? right. The last yeah. week of this month. The yeah, last week March of March. March 26th. Because it's still Women's be, um, uh, Month. That's going to be Lalo McKenzie, Nicole Washington, um, Caitlin McCormick, Ooh. and Michelle Dahl. Nice. Yeah. So we're Very gonna cool. have we're gonna have different mediums too. We're gonna have um, Caitlin's doing some like crochet, oh, like really? knitted sculpture. You know what they're calling that these days? What? Soft sculpture. Ooh. I it's like a new sculpture. it's like a new word for it. Like yeah. I, soft next, time, next time I can't get it up in bed, I'm gonna just be like, hey. I'm <laughs> it's just a soft like, hey, sculpture. Hey, my love. That's <laughs> soft sculpture. Totally gonna use that. Appreciate, appreciate the work of art. It used to be called. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's yeah, five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't, um, I can't wait. That's gonna be good. I think we're gonna have a boob flower in that show. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like a boob, like you know, like a feed me Seymour, and still it's gonna be like suckle oh. me Seymour. <laughs> That's appropriate. I love it. I love I'm it. I'm liking everything that I'm hearing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. I, I will we got be our there. Glasses on today. Brandon. That's right. This is in honor of you. <laughs> yeah. You know? Am I that? Am I a fraud? You're that. You're that. We all, we couldn't. We couldn't just sit here and let you outshine us this hard. Oh, yeah, word. We I, had to dig uh, deep into the prop <laughs> closet for the Elton John specs. <laughs> you know? I like your, I like your Rocket Man. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Elton John song? Is it Rocket Man? Um, that's a tough one. I like uh, William Shatner's Rocket Man. I do love yeah, Shatner. Word. He did do a Rocket Man. Yeah, <laughs> his covers are epic. He's great. That's as far as I'm gonna go in my William Chatner impression. It's wild, fair. he's still alive. Fair. That guy, he's been around. He I don't know. He just he just went to the freaking space. They yeah, but, and he, he didn't. He didn't. I don't think he was impressed. Yeah, but, but I'll tell you no, what. No, he was impressed. He's, he's like Will Chamberlain in the way that like <laughs> he made love to like thousands of alien women. Yeah, yeah. he did. He did. How he many was, women yeah. did Green. they say Will Chamberlain made love to? Like ten a thousand. Over a ten thousand. thousand? <laughs> it's over one thousand. <laughs> That's what I heard. I hey, listen. Know, ten thousand. That's crazy. When you can score over a hundred points in a few games <laughs> in your career, yeah, then you got the golden key to do That's a few true. things that most people I mean, should yeah. not be allowed to do. So, yeah. he was he probably, could probably he could probably lay a hundred women in a day then if he could score a hundred points in one day. Speaking dude, of careers, uh, <laughs> segue. I, Akeem, I, I was excited to chat with you today because like we've we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And been we've been like floating around galleries and working yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I realize a lot of the same people. Yeah, we do. We know a lot yeah, of the yeah. same people. We've been a lot of the same places. We have probably sold some of the same artists' work and stuff. And I just uh, I realizing as we were getting ready to do this today that I don't really know that much about like your background like where you come from oh. you know like um, where, where'd you pop out of Are you uh, i popped out of my mom uh, yeah. <laughs> who is a trinidadian immigrant she was nice. born in trinidad port of spain um Gemma patricia duncan i love you her birthday was just february 22nd uh she's a pisces i'm a scorpio very nice we're astrological soulmates nice <laughs> me and my mom that sounds creepy sounds really yeah. oedipus -y. it's kind of what, 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 what was it like r kelly who said something like that recently <laughs> there's like some clip going viral of him talking 
talking about how he had a crush on his mom. Oh wow, that's crazy. I don't mean to put I you in that same camp. I'm sorry. <laughs> my mom, my mom doesn't have uh, any butt, so I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, she's all tits. Even though I'm a tit man, but I'm like, still, I'm not, I'm not getting down with my mom like that. That's good. Yeah, I'm sorry, mean mom. Either. Sorry, <laughs> mom. I'm really disappointed. How did you get into? Um, <laughs> how did you get in like the arts, and and how did Quiet Lunch come about? Oh, okay. Well, you know, born in the South Bronx. Um, you know, um, I think I've always been in tune with art, seeing graffiti. Um, mm. hearing the music, everything. It's a very, it's a very creative borough, you know? Ralph Lauren comes from there. Every, they got a whole bunch of famous dead people. <laughs> from the, the Bronx? Billy Holiday, Miles Davids. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> the, most, the most famous people are buried in the Bronx than uh, anywhere else in the, <laughs> in the United States. It's I crazy. I think my favorite comedian, George Carlin, is also from the Bronx. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. When the, that's when the Bronx used to be, uh, used to have a lot of um, Jewish people in the Bronx before, yeah. before Robert Moses taught that, tore that scar buck 50 the Bronx. Um, but yeah, I went to um, James Monroe, um, which was a high school of art and design. Nice. Um, and before that, I went to Alfred E. Smith, where I did like drafting, like architectural drafting. Awesome. What's Alfred E. Smith? Is that like Alfred E. Newman? <laughs> what, 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 me, me worry? Alfred E. Newman, who makes I'm the Newman so... dressing? Who, like, yeah. No, no, the, the Mad Magazine guy. I know, no, I'm sorry. so uncultured, that's what I think of. I think they're related, though, both Newmans. No. Alfred E. Newman and Paul Newman. Yeah. They're yeah, all, no, no, no. I think they did a DNA, no, no, no. They did a DNA <laughs> test, and, and I'm pretty sure that they are related. They did like that a 23 sense. and me. That makes but, sense. Um, it was like a prep school? Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I've always been interested in that. Um, I started, I started the publication when I was 24. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I was writing a blog. I was doing an internship down in Alphabet City and I kind of got opened up to like a new mode of culture down here. Right. And I started taking pictures and then I started putting my poetry with it. And then I started writing and that used to be, um, people said your writing is consumable, like it's friendly. Like, oh, that's you know, good. It's, yeah. So I started a publication. I put two and two together with That's some nice. pushing from the people close to me too. Nice. And, um, you know, cause it takes the village. Right. And um, I put that together and uh, yeah. And um, it, it quiet lunch. And then naturally I got into actual curating. I didn't even know curating was a thing. Yeah. Because, um, but I, I used to pick the art that goes on the mag that goes on the site right and then i discovered that's when my tool shed kind of opened up a little bit that curation is actually a physical tangible thing right right. and then i got into curation i'm actually in my 10th year of curating that's amazing congratulations yeah, yeah. i think we're similar <clears throat> i i started at con artist in like 20 uh, I remember 14. Con yeah wow yeah 2014 or 15. wow there you go yeah yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah. it's been 10 years yeah. i've been yeah, yeah. curating too i the first show i curated was uh, 2008 yeah, oh, and that wow. was I, I used Craigslist, Craigslist to get to find people. Yeah, it was nice. called Calorgy, uh -huh. and it was in I the middle this. of Bushwick, Calorgy? 345 Eldridge Street. It was a very strange building. This oh, was, wow. Again, 2008, and I didn't know what I was doing. I probably had over 60 artists. That's amazing. It's a and, lot of artists. Uh, I love that. I had magicians. I had saxophone players. I had comedians. You're a regular P.T. Barnum over here. Dude, it was <laughs> nuts, man. He kind of is. And huh? I, it was in like the, off the Halsey L. And uh, I probably had, they were probably close to about 300 heads. And I was blown away. I was That's like, amazing. and I, I got high off the, the, the experience. I was like, this yeah. is crazy. Everyone's having fun. It is, it is, yeah. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, to so orchestrate from there, that, man, yeah. There are, few, there are a few yeah. feelings that are like yeah, yeah, yeah. Than helping an artist. Especially when work. you, yeah, especially when you, you give them a platform, especially when you sell their work. That's yeah. good. Um, that's something I'm actually working on as a curator. I'm like trying yep. to grow my collector's base. Yep. So uh, hit me up. Come by. Hit this me up. And there's week. an, art, there's you know an art to that. There's if you want affordable that. art that's going to enrich your life and your space, yeah. hit me up. But yeah, um, if I actually, unaffordable art to me, <laughs> affordable and unaffordable. I, I have affordable and unaffordable. Which one do you want? Put yeah, your yeah. hand in a pocket. You're bound <laughs> to find something. Um, I, I know you're a poet, and you're uh, you're a poet, and you're a writer, uh, and you do yeah. some like photography. I like your reels, your cooking reels. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, I do those are that. great. <laughs> Follow them on socials uh, yeah, for yeah, great yeah, cooking yeah, yeah. reels. I do have my cooking reels. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about to I'm about to do a um, I'm about to do a cooking reel maybe this weekend. 
weekend for um uh, a seafood mac and cheese. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that shit. Oh, yes. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get bow, that close. <laughs> have you ever have you ever tried your hand at painting though? Um, I used to I used to paint in my basement with like oil colors. I mean oil oil colors. <laughs> that shows how yeah. much I I'm saying I'm a curator for ten years and I'm all like oil colors. Um, <laughs> I, don't well, I think oil some people colors. I think some people call them that. Yeah, we're in. You, I, get, away, I you can get away pretty, with that. I heard pretty pictures for a living. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I used to do like oil paint. Um, you know, watercolors. I was very much individual art, sketching and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. I'm no I'm no stranger to that. I'm like I've 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 put my I put my junk in a kiln. Got to do it. I Wait, put my, my clay in a kiln. Fire oh, kiln. I got clay. I got a little bit worried for a second. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I said, wait, what the fuck? Whoa, is this no, a new no, 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 like, no. It's not a, it's not a, a, play, not a Plato and oh Socrates relationship at all. I don't have any of those yeah, relationships. Uh, anybody who's listening, do not put your junk in <laughs> any hot area. <laughs> Except for chicks. Except, Except for hot yes, chicks. Yes, yes. Yeah, it because, needs to yeah, be some they're, sort they're of moisture warm. or else... You're not getting out of there alive. They're, yeah. they're very warm You're in that area. Stuck. They're very warm. They run hot in that area. Uh, but, instructions uh, unclear. I raccooned my balls. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, fire, rac- fire uh, your balls. Yeah. You wouldn't even need to add any hair to it. It would just naturally <laughs> stick to your, your hot sack and, and raccoon oh, fire your balls. Man. Which is a very a, beautiful form of It's pottery. a crazy thing yeah, well. how fragile that is. You know, some yeah. guys, yeah. you know, it's wild. Some guys pay lots of money yeah. to get stomped in that I area. I know, exactly, and, what about putting your balls in the kiln? That's yeah. too next, much. That's they next come out level. smooth as eggs. Yeah. That's next oh, level. You, I, but you need some gloss. I, I wanted to chat a little know? bit about... Um, Actually, uh, yeah. also like an individual artist. The first time I was shown, I was shown in Chelsea. My, oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, with part of Which a group show in Chelsea. Which gallery do you Chelsea. remember? Uh, Michael Lyons Wear. Shout out to Michael Lyons Wear. Nice. Yeah. They're now Michael Lyons Wear Advisory. Ooh. Yeah, I love them. Ooh. I love those guys. They went up the ladder. They got to the next level. Now yeah, they're advisory. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> mm. I love those guys. Well, let yeah. us know when you have your next solo show ah, and if you, if you want to put that together I here not, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to get to that but yeah, no yeah. oh man but I wanted to ask you about a story I saw on your social media the other, good, the other day good. you were talking about art speak Oh yeah. yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about art speak because one of the things about this program is that I feel like Lucky Time Explosion is yeah. kind of um the other day I put a story up and I said part NPR that's me and part yeah, yeah. Howard Stern that's Morgan. Oh uh, yeah yeah. And yeah. I cuz I really think that Art Speak has done a lot of disservice to the general public's appreci- ability uh, to like, appreciate yeah. John art. and John and Joan Q public are confuzzled. Yeah, they're confuzzled, they hate it, they feel dumb. Nobody likes feeling dumb and yeah. it, I, I feel like it is meant to make people feel yeah. dumb and sometimes it doesn't seem to serve much more of a purpose than that. And if you don't know what we're talking about, I mean, well, go to a gallery and read a. Uh, know, yeah, if you go, if you go to the gallery and read the description for the show, it's very much like uh, lo- loquacious. Loquacious means talkative, verbose. Right. Yeah. Verbose. It's very verbose. Um, as a writer, and even as a neologist, uh-huh. who's a, a neologist, is someone who makes up words. You use big words. A I lot. do. Could I, you I say do, that I, again? So one who makes up their own words is called a neologist. Neology. I'm yeah. a neologist. A neologist. Uh, Shakespeare was a neologist. He yes, made he up, was. He I made love up, this. He made up the word swagger. He made up the word, like, yeah, he was a he was oh, famous. Wow. Homer, too, yeah. right? There's some yeah. made up words in the yeah, Iliad yeah, yeah, that yeah. never famous got reused neologist. again. Um, as an as a autodidact, as a writer, I'm an autodidact. I'm, I'm self taught. I use a lot of $100 words because yeah. I'm poor. That's the only way I feel rich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, words are worth it. Yeah, word. I only have monies. $2 in my pocket, so I not use a $100 word. And they want to enrich my spirit. But the, um, I feel like there's a difference between vocabulary and what is known as um, American art vernacular. Yeah, or being pretentious. Yeah, or being pretentious for the sake yeah. of it. I, uh, sometimes you get off, though. You know what I mean? The person who's writing it really gets <laughs> off. Uh, sometimes it's a little parent, and I don't want to. I feel like it shouldn't be done in public. It's very selfish. I, mean. I think it can be selfish on the writer's part. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the point of it is supposed to be exciting people about the artwork. Exactly. And a lot of the, the stuff you see in, in art speak is trying to say that the painting is doing something. Because it's a lot more 
you can interesting you can, um, to have it doing something than just sitting on a wall you know it, right, it's you, um, breaking boundaries it's i will say this transforming i will say gaze. this as a curator as a writer yeah. as you know a one-man wrecking crew per se like yeah. that writes his own descriptions and and is curating as well because sometimes sometimes um sometimes there is that disconnect yeah. The, because the person that's curating isn't necessarily the person that's writing the description. Right. So sometimes you'll get that person who tries to like put their foot in it and and mm. they're not really exactly connected with the work like that in terms of curating it. Right, right. And, I feel like know, the curator should be the one writing it, you know. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, sometimes niggas ain't got time to do that. Mm. Yeah, they, got, <laughs> but, they slap it off on the gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be like, hey, like, write that shit. Like, I mean, you know? as a gallerist, I've definitely, I'm sure you could dig up some examples of that, of yeah. doing that in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way yeah. back. In, if you look yeah. at really con or early con artist descriptions, I might have done that a couple times. But do you know, do you know Brad Trammell? Uh, no, I don't think so. You should check him out. He's like um, he's like an art theory like person. I'm on okay. his Patreon. He just say, has that, a, say that name again. Brad Trommel. Okay, he I, has feel, a, I feel like I should know that name. You, you might actually recognize. I know him a lot of brands. Yeah, <laughs> but he um he did a great um report on Art Speak. It's like an hour long okay. like video essay. And I Can you give me like brilliant. a brief education on what he was talking about? Yeah, basically he was get, making the point that um like in the 1970s with conceptual art. Uh, a lot of the center of the art world's financial core moved away from commercial galleries and into higher education. Yeah. And through it moving into higher education, you began to see sort of a shift in the way they're pitching it, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. where they're no longer pitching the art for you to buy it, and they're more pitching the artist as an intellectually important thing. Yeah. And so it basically became like a... In, the way I phrase it is become like a profundity pissing contest Ooh, where everybody's like just that. trying to be more profound in the next. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's the thing for contest with a P? <laughs> um, <laughs> profundity yeah, pissing, pissing pie, pie eating contest. Pie. Yeah. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. Pie <laughs> eating contest. <laughs> profundity <laughs> pissing pie eating contest. Anyway. Yeah. And, that, and that's kind of what it was about. And then it became about communicating your in status in this group yeah. saying you're educated, you went to art school. So you know what these words mean. You use these words too. And you use this kind of same vernacular to, to, to there signal is, there an is a, There is like a verbal <laughs> kind of, um, there is, um, um, how should I say this? Um, because I have to tread lightly here without being, uh, there is a kind of uh, intellectual erudite dog whistling mm -hmm. this there, yeah, like, yeah. you know? And you know, sometimes you're all like, "Hey, we understand these words, and we're talking to our tribe." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I could get that. That's I could get I that. Mean. But sometimes, you know, when you have a certain co connection, as I will say this, I would say, um, as someone who is self-taught, um, as a curator, even as a writer, I do not have an art history degree, nor do I have um, a writer, a writing degree. Um, mm -hmm. I went to Berkeley uh, for for business, so. Berkeley, yeah. California, or Berkeley School of Music? No, nah, not the Grassley, not the Grassley Knoll Berkeley. I went to the Eastern Seaboard Berkeley. Uh, okay. um, the That's Yale, the Yale offshoot is 1934. Mine's is 1932. So oh. suck it, Yale. <laughs> suck it, Yale. Well, I'm eat, a fifth grade dropout. So. Eat my dick, yeah. Yale. What? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fifth grade dropout. You're a fifth grade dropout? Yeah, I dropped out in fifth grade. And uh, I got a, I never got any degrees after that, really. Uh, yeah, I think I got a middle crazy. school degree from like homeschooling from the state of California. So I'm like a middle school. I don't even have a high school. Education. I was about to say, because well, Northwest, uh, Kanye's daughter is actually putting out an album. She announced an album, um, elementary school dropout. So <laughs> really? think, is that yeah, real? I think, yeah, I'm oh. dead ass. They did that. I'm dead ass. They did that. So like, you know, you might be bumping that. That's going to be yeah, your album. That's <laughs> it. No, I, and I, I went to school. Like I went back to college. I do have yeah, like yeah. a formal education in yeah, yeah. history a little bit. And it like, is he like, would you grow up in the Appalachians? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I grew, up, I grew up in the only place scarier, California. Ca California. Yeah, uh, California. I, for, I, I like when Fred Armisen, like, he, he did all of the dialects, and then he was all like, Northern California. It's like, Northern California. Like, oh. they pronounce every... I love the Californians on SNL. It's one of the I few, love that shit. The I few love that funny shit. sketches. It's, it's one of the <sighs> most break prone sketches, like where everybody breaks, like yeah, everybody's yeah, fucking yeah. breaking. You can't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, when it comes to art speak to like circle back around, yeah. um, I think it can be okay 
in some instances mm-hmm. because it's like you know it's tribal talk like we're talking right. language to each other yeah but if you want to make the work reachable if you're if you're about bridging gaps you yeah. will kind of you know throw some philistines speak up in there like you yeah. know, get, get the philistines to come over here it was one of my favorite um artist bios or just artist statement i ever read was miley cyrus's uh because she just ahead. said basically um her artist statement was i used to get stoned and sit around and uh, do nothing and now i get stoned and sit around and hot glue stuff to other stuff that's amazing. I, I love her. So, I love her so much. I got <laughs> such a crush on her buck too fast. Like I love her. Yeah, I, I was like, that's like the most artist. honest artist statement I've heard in a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's very life. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What and do you think also, about it? Um, I believe, and I, I forgot. I forgot who said this. Uh, who said this shit? It was all like the mark of true intelligence is to simplify the most complicated mm, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So As a writer, that's that, that yeah, is. If you could do editor. that, that's when you're fucking smart, bro. Right. Yeah, if you could be like, like, yo, this is why you should fuck with this, bro. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> definitely, definitely. What do you think, Morgan? What do you think about art speak? Yeah. I know you're you're curator. You're in art the world, speak? too. Yeah, exactly. See, I've been doing it the wrong way the whole time, though. Yeah? Yeah. I I uh, never learned the art of the sale. The art of the sale or the art of the art speak? Ah, and yeah. do, are they related and do they matter to each That's other? That's an interesting question. Maybe art speak helps with sales i don't know because i never use it and i you know i've made sales in the past yeah there's no doubt but i never you know truly focused on i guess art speak just walking around looking at people look at other artwork and be like (laughs) so you like those (laughs) people let me tell you more about the (laughs) art and i have to say it like that and i have to sweep up and put on a wig because i don't think like i I almost want to like look up to see if they have um information on gallerists who have hair and those who don't and if what? <laughs> people with no hair make less sales, I wonder if there's a correlation. Yeah, well, you guys yeah. are pretty di- diametrically opposed here with the we hair would situation. Have to, like, do this. We I would have to go sell off. tons of I've been, galleries. I've been, I've been selling a lot. I've been, I've been selling like at least consec. No, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It might be because of your hair. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, I see what's saying, going on. I'm just saying. Plus, Shoot. I don't wear underwear. Oh no, I don't wear underwear. So you free ball. It. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Not, I gotta tell you this. I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo right you now. Are. That's no, awesome. no underwear, commando. So check this out. It For years, <laughs> my, my dad was born in the Bronx. He yeah, oh. Grand Concord. Yeah, oh yeah, there um, we go. This man free balled it throughout his whole life, and, yeah, and we, I don't know. He let himself breathe, and he wears <laughs> sweatpants. And yeah. one day we go to Home Depot, right? <laughs> Just wearing his sweatpants, and that's it. And so we go to the tree section, and we're looking at bonsai. He's like, your mother would love this. This is a beautiful plant. And then he's like, I love mermaids. But then he continued to look at the trees, and he finds a nice plant. He wants to buy it from my mother. Beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the fuck is my money? He's pulling down his pants. His pubes are fucking shooting out. The man was keeping 520s in the, the waistband of his fucking... Oh, of yeah, his yeah, yeah. sweatpants. Yeah, 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 right. So he's like having a panic attack. He's like, your mother's going to kill me. I don't know what made me look, man. I walk, I, I was running around. Retrace your steps. I, I found, I went to the front of the Home Depot and yeah. in a puddle. I don't even know what made me go to the front yeah. of the Home Depot because the plant section was way far from yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, entry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just the water money was right there floating in the fucking puddle. That's amazing. Oh, I was his he must favorite. Have loved you. Oh, he was pumped. And, there, yeah. and, uh, and, the, and, from then Didn't on, even have you, to whip you, his never, dick out. you never wore underwear from then on. Oh, he's still dead. I mean, the man doesn't give a shit. The man is like a, a, a one step away from a caveman, but that's the way he wants it to be. Greg, Greg Lappin. Craig believes, Lappin. Craig Lappin believes in mermaids. He believes in mermaids. <laughs> and, and definitely, there was like that's two things. That, Mer, mermaids and mermen. And mermen. Well, they yeah, have to, you would think. They and mer, and mer days. Mer days. Mer days, right? Yeah, or they. Mer them. Mer Mer them. Just mer people. Mers. Just mers. Yeah, just, just mers. mers. Not, so to that's humes. Confused, not to be so confused with the humans, rapper. So instead of humans, no more humans. <laughs> We're just humes. <laughs> just humes. We're a bunch of humes. You see, humes. I'm going to change that. There you go. Humes We're humes. humes. You heard it here first. Yes. Yeah. No longer human. Right. Humes. Just nice. humes. Humes so breathing fumes. Your Bronx story is just is finding your dad's money in Home Depot. 
<laughs> well, no, it stemmed from free balling. <laughs> oh, I see. Because nobody. Oh, the man. Okay. The man just balling. doesn't. You, but like I said, he keeps <laughs> things simple, and I've always yeah. admired that about uh, my father. Like he just kept <laughs> shit. Simple, yeah. and he always told me he's like, "It's all a game." Well, it's K I S S. It's all a game. That's fair. That, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. That's on some Alan Watts shit, bro. Like, oh, I Alan, love Alan Watts. Yo, Alan Watts be talking about the role of the Joker, mm. and like that's what he. Who's he's, Alan Watts? Alan Watts is uh, he's a English he's a philosopher. philosopher. He's a mm. contemporary philosopher. And what was yeah. his thing? A psychedelic did... philosopher too. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah he talks all about a lot about reality and yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, you know our perceptions of the world through our experiences. Yeah. And he had a theory about the Joker. The Joker gets that it's all a game. Mm. Then he's like, he's, I'm gonna have to look into this. I yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. I love it. The theory Alan of the Watts. Joker. Yeah, Alan Watts. Okay. Yeah. Nice little recommendation. My Ooh. my only story about the Bronx is that I I went past it once on the train uh, while uh, on my way to Connecticut oh to pick up a prop. <laughs> oh my god, you sound so white. <laughs> I know, right? No, that, that's that's another feature of the show is me just being unapologetically white all the time. It's like I went past it. <laughs> yeah, I went past it in the train, and it was scary. It was like, bro, it like scary. Uh, no, no, it was I'm like, actually, you gotta um, take me up there. I I'm go actually visit. curating. I'm actually trying to. I'm trying to get into spring break this year, which is something mm. I've always wanted to do. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to do that, up, and I have an opportunity this year. And I'm actually uh, curating um, uh, something by. I'm actually curating a booth, a potential booth by uh, Valerie Larco, who does paintings of the Bronx. Nice. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I already have a title for it. I'm not gonna give that away yet because I don't need anybody stealing my sauce over here. <laughs> I don't need nobody stealing my sauce. So, right. <laughs> and um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy to be a part of that. Um, we have some great things in store. Hopefully, we get in, and if we do, you'll see me there. You'll see Excellent. this month. Yeah, well, with, you know, with, they different, say, with different shades on. Yeah, my headphones could never stay on. You know, I I do a podcast myself. Uh, shout out to Cultured People Time CPT. Yes. Uh, Moira Mespino. That's my. When are you dude. gonna have us on? Huh? Uh, yeah, we're, we're cultured we're, we're like yogurt. Be, we're going to return the favor. We're currently um, <laughs> we're currently in the middle of rebranding right now. But, nice. Um, yeah, we should. We're trying to. We were trying to shoot an episode this week, but you know, it's gonna it's gonna be next week. But yes. Yeah. Nice. But nice, yeah, nice. so I'm I'm happy for that. What do you guys but, talk about on there? Um, we talk about everything under the sun when it yeah. comes to culture, gender, politics, art, music, mm. um, religion, uh, mental health. Even yeah. we talk about inner exterior culture and interior culture, mm. but uh, CPT culture people time is a is a play off the words uh, yeah. colored people time, All right? Which means like you late, right? 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 right. <laughs> we or were ca- both late or today, Caribbean though. time. Yeah, you guys are on Caucasian time, Caucasian yeah. people time. Yeah, <laughs> which is usually no, that's usually like on time. Right? That's it. Yeah, that's usually <laughs> or like annoyingly early, like when you come in like fifteen minutes early, and you're like, why are you here? The party doesn't start for. 15- I yeah, need time. Right. You're supposed to show up half an hour right. late. It's right. rude. I try yeah. to spend as much time crying in my bed as possible until I have to get up. <laughs> you gotta get a good cry in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of time, we're getting close on time. We have about two minutes left. Is there anything coming up you want to pitch? But we have that show, The End of Four Women, at the end of March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. March 26th. Tomorrow. March 26th. Tom- yep. Yep. Yeah, March 26th. Opening is a Tuesday, March 26th. Tuesday, um, you can come. You got nothing going on uh, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Get out know, here. Yeah, yeah, Except for tacos, and we might have tacos. We might. We might. Yeah. He's Big baby. Big come baby for the on tacos. The Stay for the art. Nice. Anything else? Um, um, I plan on doing, um, we have a thing called the lunch table mm. that uh, Quiet Lunch does, and we're going to do uh, a Women's History Month edition in Chelsea. Nice. Hopefully, we could get that. It's going to be in a nice, fancy townhouse. We're going to have a private chef, and there's going to be tickets available. Mm. Um, we're cooking that right now. I'm even having a meeting about it. And um, yeah, and you get to meet some really great artists and even people outside of the art community, people in real estate, people in tech. And yeah, and we're going to have like, you know, people, it's going to be ticketed because we're trying to like raise money for yep. shit. And um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah well, um, make sure you give me some links. We'll drop them in the description. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Go check Where that out. Where that? Gang, gang, gang. Let's, yeah. say, let's say bye to everybody. How, how do we do that? How, yeah. I don't know. How should we, we explode? Do that? We is usually like, just explode. Like, oh, we, we explode. We'll just edit. We'll edit us in here. Okay, we'll just, we'll just start like shaking a, like this, and then we'll yeah, just explode. Like, are you gonna put this at after oh. effect? Thank you for listening to Lucky Time Explosion. Watch the video edition on Patreon. 
a green screen extravaganza experience available exclusively to official Lucky Timers. This episode was recorded at Sola Studios in Manhattan, New York, helping artists make cool shit since 2016.